Like everything was a party Only 18 years deep And now we're getting started Finish line clear So we focus on the target Wouldn't it be nice If we saturate the market And wouldn't it be great If we could just simply raise And never think about Calm down or act your age I say hey Hands up The record plays Wouldn't it be great If I could live on stage Let me introduce you To the duo in the dream Wouldn't it be nice If we blew up on the scene Do shows in Pluto So you know what I mean Wouldn't it be cool To have a name up on the screen I wouldn't it be great if I could make you a fanatic Accumulate a following like dust up in the attic And if you hear her hollering and people go ecstatic You know it must be us cause we always wreaking havoc See I just wish that people could relax and look beyond But they see us right or wrong just appreciate a song So I just shot my next Mythbuster Monday video, so stay tuned to that if you're wondering why when you watch it on Monday morning I'm in the same outfit, that's why. <laughs> but no, um, I just want to do a little spiel of Sarah Grace because after my quiet time this morning and reading my devotional and everything, it was just awesome. Number one, I just wanted to say what the devotional book I use is because whether it be like when I snapchatted it or whether it was on a couple of my videos a lot of people asked what the book was and so it's called Jesus Calling it's just a daily devotional that gives you some bible verses to read and just a little um something to think about every day so that is that but today just focused on you know following God's lead trusting him even when you don't know what's coming next and like how you we have to walk by faith and not by sight. And that is just hitting home right now because with being up here in Tallahassee for the first time, not knowing really what my purpose is up here except for the fact of getting a degree, but like I know that my life has a much more like greater purpose than that. And so I'm trying to figure out like why God has me here for the short period of time that he does and just trying to figure that out um but it was just awesome because a lot of things like i haven't been seeing come to fruition or like plans that i wanted to happen haven't come through and so i was getting like so down on myself the other day and just like wondering like why things aren't going the way i wanted them to and it was just so cool to come across this where like the devotional was just saying like you know, the greatest things come from God when you're walking by faith and not things that you can see. And that a lot of his greatest blessings are right around the bend and you can't see them. But if you just follow in faith that they're real, they're there, and that you are just going to be so happy that you did trust him and that you did follow his lead. Because it's usually when you're not seeing things come to fruition that you give up and that you just try to do things your own way. And I kind of started finding myself doing that. And it was just so cool to kind of have this little reminder today of just, you know, just keep praying, keep asking for his lead and keep following it, even though, it, even if it doesn't make sense to you, even though they may not be your plans that you thought were best for your life. And I don't know. So I'm just like wanted to share that little synopsis because I do try to share my just journey here on this channel and on my Instagram and even in Snapchat like you'll see like my daily life like if you're not following me on Snapchat you probably should if you want to see what I do on the daily because I don't go a day without Snapchatting. I love it. And so yeah those are just my thoughts right now. I'm just like want to share those with you and let you know that if, like, if you're going through a time where things aren't happening like you wanted them to, where you had plans that didn't work out, um, just anything. If you're just getting down on yourself because you're not seeing your hard work um, just really pay off just yet, I just want to give a little inspiration and motivation to just keep going like keep going and keep trusting that all your hard work is going to pay off that there is a plan in it all if you're going through a hard time like just know that there's a purpose in it all and it's just about waiting to see what that purpose is and so 
I don't know, just want to share my thoughts, but I hope you just enjoy the rest of my day that I take you along with me. Um, we're going to go to a farmer's market because I have the day off. My 8 p.m. lab got canceled, which woohoo! So after my class today, I'm basically done. I'm just going to catch up on blogging, schedule some blog posts, um, respond to clients, make some workout and nutrition plans. So even on my days off, I have a lot to do. So yes, that is what I'll be doing. And come along with me. Hope you enjoy this rest of the video. And I hope you guys liked that um, food prepping as well because I made a lot of food, whether it be the chicken salad or whether it be the turkey meatballs and spaghetti squash. And I had both for lunch today because I couldn't choose which I wanted. So I ended up having like a tortilla with the chicken salad on it. And then I also had spaghetti squash with turkey meatballs. <sighs> and then some of my pumpkin O's that you saw in my top 10 foods video. So this tummy is full and now we're gonna go get some work done. Stay tuned. Oh, also, Replying to hate comments. You know, people just haven't been very nice lately. I mean, there's so many of you that I love and that are so nice to me and just really make me smile. And then there's some that just, I don't know, they just aren't very nice. And I'm just wondering, how do you have the time to watch a video that you don't like and like comment on it back and forth? Like, I barely have time to watch the videos I do want to watch, let alone the ones I don't want to watch. So, yeah. But going along with that, maybe I just make another video on this. Yeah, I think I probably should because it might turn out to be long. But don't let what people say get you down. If people are being mean, disregard it. Don't let it ruin your day. <laughs> like, I saw this quote and it was saying, let your smile change the world, but don't let the world change your smile. And I thought that was so cool because like so much of this world is mean <laughs> and just telling you you're not enough, telling you you need to be this or that or whatever. And yeah, like, I mean, <laughs> Just in the last few days, I've gotten comments that said, you're not going to age well. I give it five to ten years until your meth addiction. I've gotten comments that say, ew, your voice is so annoying and you're so ugly. Please wear more makeup. <laughs> so, trust me, <laughs> it happens to all of us. And yes, I had my gum here. Oops, I took it off because I knew I couldn't talk with it. Um, but <laughs> just don't let people ruin your day. Hang out, surround yourself with people that bring you up and lift you up and make you smile. That is that for right now. And now I'm gonna go. Hope you enjoy the rest of this day. Turn this on, tell me, do you feel enticed? To get up on your feet and make the most out of the night. Find someone you like, just take a chance and roll the dice. You could end up making memories that wouldn't that be nice? I'm up high right now Wouldn't it be nice if I never came down Always on the rise, I forgot about ground I just wanna live on the top somehow Someday maybe I'll find The key to the good life Spend my day It's good! Wow. And I don't like goat cheese <laughs> Steady on the rise, so revving And you can shut me out and say I'm stuck in wishful thinking But I know that when it happens, we gon' stop and let it sink in Cause so speaking cute. of heaven, I'm a settle in the sky Shut up on the clouds, then I get up and I fly To a place where the white tips waves roll in Feeling golden in the moment till the sun grows thin Then boom, bring out the moon, I'm the man in it now So if you're looking up, you're just standing in loud So many Taking the perfect pumpkin is a very but I think this one, what do you think about this one? I think that's a good one. Okay. Thank you. Catch me if you can, but I'll be in Japan. Or maybe 212, possibly Amsterdam. I'm headed around the world. I'm going, I'll let it twirl. You twist it, I'm gonna twirl. I'm just sticking to the plan. Bam, I said imagine. Living like Aladdin. Having 
someone grant your wishes and if it happens I'm asking to fly away to a place where every day everything is laid back all great always so see you later I guess that I'll talk to you soon cause I'm gone you can see me go over the moon I'm up high right now wouldn't it be nice if I never came down always on the rise I forgot about ground I just wanna live on the top somehow someday maybe I'll find the key to the good life Spend my days on cloud nine Yeah, now wouldn't that be nice Someday maybe I'll find the key to the good life Today we are just going to cover how to avoid binge eating and what the root of it really is because with working with clients lately the biggest question I get is I cannot stop binge eating, what can I do? So let's just talk about that today. 